Hello Dynar enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, your premier source for the latest and most authentic news about the Iraqi Dynar. If you're a Dynar holder or someone interested in the dynamics of Iraq's currency, you're in the right place. Our dedicated team works tirelessly to bring you up to date information, expert analyses, and insider insights that you won't find anywhere else. Stay informed about significant developments, economic trends, and policy changes affecting the Dynar. Today we're discussing an intriguing update from a well-known source in the investment community, newfound Intel guru MNT Goat. As many of you know, MNT Goat has been closely following the situation in Iraq, particularly the highly anticipated revaluation or RV of the Iraqi dinar. In this video, we'll break down the latest information MNT Goat has shared and what it could mean for investors like us. So where do we stand with the RV? According to MNT Goat, during a call to Iraq on Saturday, they gathered some vital information. Let's summarize and analyze this information to better understand our current position as investors. Firstly, M&T GOAT emphasized that we are still waiting for assurances from the United States. This point cannot be overstated. The US plays a crucial role in the global financial system and their support or assurances are often a key factor in significant financial events, including the RV. While the exact nature of these assurances wasn't detailed, it's clear that the process is somewhat dependent on a green light from the US. Now, let's talk about the project to delete the zeros. MNT Goat mentioned that this project was scheduled for June and as of the date of this update, we still have a week remaining in June. This timeline is crucial. The project to delete the zeros is a significant step towards the RV, aiming to simplify the currency and potentially make it more valuable. With only a week left in June, the next few days could be critical. Investors should stay alert for any announcements or developments during this period. Another important point from MNT GOAT's update is the mention of two phases necessary for the RV to occur. According to the information received, the first phase has been completed and the second phase is scheduled to be completed by the end of June. This phased approach suggests a structured and methodical process which is reassuring. The completion of the second phase could be the final step needed before we see the RV materialize. So what should we make of all this? As investors, it's essential to stay informed and be prepared for different scenarios. If the second phase is indeed completed by the end of June, we could see significant movement towards the RV. However, it's also crucial to remain cautious. The situation involves multiple factors and players, including the need for us assurances. Therefore, while the information is promising, we should temper our expectations with the understanding that delays or changes are always possible in such complex processes. In conclusion, MNT GOAT's latest update gives us a reason to be optimistic. The project's timeline aligns with the end of June, and the completion of the second phase could bring us closer to the RV. However, the need for us assurances reminds us that this process is influenced by various external factors. As always, staying informed and adaptable will be key as we navigate these developments. Thank you for tuning in to this update. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up, share it with fellow investors, and subscribe to our channel for more insights. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.